regarding issues of accommodation. So staying on or off campus is your decision, but I will just give you one clue. Hello friends, it is Umar once again and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I am a final year medical student and I make videos on medicine and lifestyle. So in this video, I decided not to address only medical students. I will like to address the whole newly admitted students this year. And first, I have to say congratulations. You have really done something great because thousands of students have applied for different institutions in this country and uh, few got admitted into university. So you were celebrating it, but there are some things that you need to know so that whenever you are celebrating, you will not forget those things and subsequently have some challenges during your stay. So, sorry, before I proceed, wait. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe, please. If you enjoyed the video, hit like button. And if you find it boring, don't hesitate to hit dislike button. Please, if you have anything, comment. Please, at least do something to encourage me so that I will do more of these videos. Anyway, let the video begin. One of the most important things to do when you are admitted and you start your journey is to start reading early because things will not accumulate and you will not wait until it is test, exams, or when you are given some assignments before you start doing it. Once you read early, you realize that you learn a lot and you will comprehend better and even in case during exams you are not able to go through some things, you will see that you are recalling them because you studied them out of pressure. So you need to start that as soon as possible. I hesitate to explore through different study techniques. Right now I am in almost my seventh year in university, but there are different study techniques that I used right from year one because some have particular topics that they work. If it is history, this study technique is preferred. If it is calculations, this is preferred. If it is structures like anatomy, this one is preferred. Apart from knowing the study techniques also, it is very important for you to not when you understand the best. Because it is not only if you have study technique, but you will use it in the night, in the morning, or in the evening. If it, you are the nocturnal type, that is those that understand during the night, then do it. Don't do it for others. You are doing it for yourself. You also need to find a best way for financial sources and also financial management. So the first thing regarding the source of financing, there are different ways to source finance as an undergraduate medical student, sorry, as an undergraduate student. Because some of these sources, everybody is capable, irrespective of the course or the department you are studying, like the scholarships, there is federal government scholarship, there is Shell scholarship, the Agbami scholarship, and also there are different scholarships, the essay writing competitions. I know many of my friends that are benefiting from one or more scholarship. So you need to calm yourself, get good grades, and start applying. And if you need any further information, you can drop it in the comment box below. And apart from that, also there are passive income streaming, like even this YouTube channel, blogging. If you are good at graphics design, you can just liaise with somebody, freelancers, and many interesting jobs that you can initiate just to reach people out and gain some. As I said, financial sourcing and management. Part of the best is, it is not only financial sourcing, but also managing the money that you are able to gather. So if you get the money, how will you spend it? You need to have a calendar. It is not that you are becoming stingy. It is just that you are trying to weigh things that will work for you. For instance, things like cooking, if you can cook for yourself, learn how to do it and try to cook balanced diet, it is better for you than to be buying and spending money and it will also prevent you from eating a lot of junky foods. So I think this is also one of the most important things to consider as a newly admitted student. So as a newly admitted student, it is also important for you to take any form of assessment as important as the main exams because they might determine the outcome of the final exams. For instance, during tests, during assignments, practicals, and even group presentations, you need to take them as important as possible so that you will participate because they constitute some percentage which if you 
take for granted. Finally, you might even fail the main exams when it is accumulated. It is generally believed that time is an asset. So you need to know how to manage your time and organize your things, plan your schedule. You need to learn this. And whatsoever you are doing, if it is watching movie, fine, you can watch movie, but try to arrange it. If it is partying, if it is clothing, you need to find time for you to read and study some things before you can do all other things and enjoy your life. But you need to always remember that the primary assignment is for you to study and you need to stay there for either four years, five years, six years. And you don't need anything that will alter this very flowchart, even though there is a <laughs> One of the most important things is regarding issues of accommodation. So staying on or off campus is your decision, but I will just give you one clue. First, try to contact different people from the institution you are going to. That is the senior colleagues. To tell you the pros and the cons for the two forms of accommodation, and try to weigh between them the safety, the security, the proximity, whether you have a vehicle to convey you or some things like that. Once you know these things, you will weigh between the two, whether the on-campus or the off-campus and choose the best for you. The most important thing also is to look after your health and also participate in extracurricular activities. Look after your health by eating good food and also whenever you are sick try to seek for help immediately and also try to participate in sports gym and anything that will at least boost your immune system and you will at least last longer so you need to select friends wisely because different people come from different backgrounds so the first thing that you will do try to calm yourself and look for people that you share hobby with the same interest. If you are religious, you can find some people in religious clubs, sports, different sports, but calmly choose wisely because some people will really result you into failing exams and finally you will not know when you will regret knowing them. You also need to be yourself. Try as much as possible to live with people peacefully, calmly, but make sure you always do what works for you. That is, do it at your best interest. As Steve Jobs said, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. You need to try to understand people, what they need, but don't do anything to please anyone. Once you know that you are not harming someone, just do it. If it is reading, read at your conveniences. Don't read because your roommates are going out to read or because your girlfriend called you. Because it is something that you will actually not know that you are not doing it to comprehend. You are just doing it because others are doing it. And when it is too late, you will realize you just wasted your time doing nothing like studying. And also part of being yourself is to be confident in what you are doing and always to remember that you are living your life, not someone's life. And you know your weaknesses and strength better than anyone, so you will do it when it pleases you, not for somebody. So you also need to remember that it is too early for you to start affairs, girlfriend, boyfriend in university because some of them will only deceive you. I still can remember one nice book which I really recommend for any undergraduate student here in Nigeria to buy. It is the Diary of the Jambites by Phil Adderley. It is a very nice book on these things and I even put the link. You can get it with free shipping from Amazon. I put the link here in the description below. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if so, don't forget what I started this video with. Like, share, subscribe and comment if you have anything to say. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you in my next video.